Tonight, the fire is still burning at the Alamo Recycling Center. We first told you about it on Friday. Well, starting tomorrow morning, Alamo Fire Department is bringing in some water tankers to help completely get rid of it. Fire officials say it is safe for people who n live near there, but some residents still have concerns. Channel 5 Stephanie Rosales reports. Fire crews in Alamo want to get to the root of this moldering problem. They are monitoring a fire that sparked two days ago. But yeah, it, it was pretty scary, you know, and plus I work, I actually work from here from the house. Jesus de la Cruz lives just behind the Alamo Recycling Center. His kids had just come home from school when they heard strange noises. Plus everybody was adjusting, you know, getting ready to play their games or watch their shows. And we heard like a, like a real loud explosion, right? A loud explosion followed by popping noises. Uh, we actually thought somebody had hit the house. Yeah, all the windows rattled. It was pretty bad. My son came out real scared. But no, I came out to go see if somebody had hit the side of the house. And that's when I saw the, the big cloud, the big white cloud. It was pretty bad. Ray Chapa heard what sounded like an explosion too. He was at a doctor's office nearby. And I was leaning against the wall uh, of the office. And when the explosion happened, the wall moved a lot and hit my head. You know, it was so loud. He thought a car crash happened in the parking lot. And then we saw the smoke. And then we heard uh, popping sounds. And uh, everybody was scared that uh, another explosion could happen. The Alamo Fire Chief Roy Contreras says those explosions and popping sounds were airbags from cars brought to the recycling center. He believes high temperatures heated the airbags and caused them to expand and pop. The noises have stopped, but smoke continues. Chief Contreras says the source of the smoke is underneath piles of scrap metal. He says Monday they'll work alongside the recycling center to move scrap metal and reach the source. Do they have a plan and they're doing it? I mean, at least it makes us feel kind of good, you know. Meanwhile, Chapa hopes a solution can be found so that something like this doesn't happen again. To make sure that there's no potential explosive and dangerous stuff. Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News, this weekend.